Hi guys, welcome. This is Jerry. Um, in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you all you need to know about charging your EV6. Um, first, we're gonna show you how to check your EV6 range to left. So for example, this one has a 388 kilometers on the top right. That means you have that much range to go. Again, this is just pure indication. Depends on how you drive, depends on your calculation at the, uh, before. And this is 93% at the bottom, as you can see. And in the center console, we're gonna have the same battery, 93% and 388 kilometers range to go. If you swap left, depends on where you are. You may have a di different display at the front. You can just press the EV button that allow us to see the EV charge everything and uh, you can also even see your charging stations around this area so you simply press that button you can use you can search your charging stations around again this is in New Zealand so we do have a different map different display from your ones um, you will be able to find wherever you like basically just go over there and uh, charging you can see your battery you can see your uh, energy information and everything i will show you that as well so this is your high power charging fast charging all that things that's information for you and uh, i'll show you these things later on um, but first we're going to show you how to open the charging cover so first there are two ways to open the charging cover you get this charging cover button so simply press and hold that allows us to open the charging cover you'll get a notification on the dashboard it says charging door is open you want to make sure your vehicle is switched off by the way and let's go get that vehicle now as you can see the charging door is open and to close the charging door two ways you just simply tap this button charging door close uh, or you can open it just by pressing your finger over there give a little bit of pressure that opens up so two ways to open and two ways to close if you in case you are manually forcing this halfway will automatically close as well just like that so it's pretty easy just it um, so that's opening and closing after that this is how the charging port looks like on the top we have the ac so this is the type 2 charging and at the bottom we have the ccs fast dc charge so that allows to charge it in different ways if you're using the ac charge so simply use a type 2 either a socket come with the vehicle or a public charging station or the, the charging box you install at home and uh, simply plug it in and wait for a few seconds the vehicle is going to show you are charging so if it shows all bars over here that means that the vehicle is not charging at the moment uh, but if it's charging it's going to have uh, stationary bars and then blank bars on the top which i'll show you right now so here i have a sort of 32 amps ac charge and then i'm just going to leave it there and uh, after a few, um, obviously the other side is already connected. I don't need to worry about that. And just leave it on for a few seconds. You can hear the sound noise inside the cabin as well. I'll explain that later. That means the vehicle starts charging. You can hear the voice command. Now, my vehicle is on 90%. That means you, the, only the last bar will, will blink. But if your vehicle is just quarter left or um, sort of 40% left or 70% left, it's going to show different bars over here with blinkers that give you an indication of how much charging it's, it's left basically. If you do want to take this out, you won't be able to force it out just yet. And if you do want to unplug the charge, use your use your key, come with the key and just simply press the unlock button. You can hear the sound, now the blinker is gone and we just manually take it out just like that. So same way as the DC charge, you are able to just unplug this, plug all the DC uh, DC fast charging and you have blinkers on the side then when you want to unlock it and take it out just press the unlock button to take this out basically the vehicle automatically locks its sort of charging doors and that means if you lock the vehicle no one can pull it out just in case okay so now let's jump to the exciting part you notice this button over here that's actually for disengage or um, engage the sort of scheduled charging um, so what I'll show you is in the vehicle let's jump back in the car again so make sure you click home button and find this EV button over here let's go into our EV menu again we have all the information on the top we don't need to worry about that so we're going to talk about next departure so you can set it up two different departure times um, if you just need one you can just simply select one so how that works is I'm going to set up let's say do the settings I'm going to set up from Monday to Friday 
um, and my departure time will be 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, how that works is I'm going to plug in the electricity um, overnight when I sleep at 10 o'clock, for example, um, but the vehicle will not start charging until it's close to this particular time. I see the vehicle knows my charging rate and my charging uh, clothes, all that things when I plug it in and it's not um, it, it only takes four hours to fully charge tonight from Monday and um, The vehicle will only start charging around three to four o'clock instead of keep charging every day uh, or um, Sort of every morning sort of thing um, That means it does save your electricity and then that's how to set up the departure time basically for the departure um, next departure and then after the next departure, as long as you enable the next departure, you will be able to use a scheduled charging. So let's say if you want to switch on your scheduled charging, this is called off-peak time settings. So if you are um, running an electricity plan that you know between, let's say, uh, 2, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., um, your charging, um, sort of charging uh, electricity is going to be quite cheap. Uh, you're going to set up this button here and there so you can set up off peak um, to be prioritized or off peak only so what that means is if your sector is prioritized the vehicle will try to only charge between this time uh, if it does take longer than between this time it's going to charge out, uh, off peak obviously but you can also change to off peak only so the vehicle will only charge between 2 to 6 a.m overnight so that's quite handy you don't need to wake up and just switch it on you don't need to control it on your mobile you can simply just control it from this particular screen just like that and click ok to confirm that means the vehicle when your departure um, when your schedule charging is um, arranged it's going to start charging like that you can also change your target temperature setting so what that means is um, you will be before your departure time We've already said at 8 a.m. in the morning, the vehicle will set my temperature to a particular degree. Uh, if you are heated front windscreen on or non heated front windscreen on off as well, so the vehicle will be activated according to the departure time. So let's say maybe a few minutes or 10 minutes, 20 minutes before it, and the vehicle will cool it, cool it, uh, pre cool it or pre heat it. Uh, that's quite cool, obviously. Again, you can set it on or set it off whenever you like, just like that. And after that, we also have an EV charging transfer. So that's called the vehicle to load. So with a special cable with the vehicle, you're able to use this vehicle as a charging outlet to charge the other, let's say, devices or, or appliances or even your home or even other electric vehicles and all that. So you can change to different percentage if you like. So that means when you charge, you using your vehicle to charge the other things, uh, you're gonna charge, you're gonna use only up to 80% or 50% or 20%, whatever you like. So just to keep that in mind, you can do that. And otherwise we can always have settings. So in the settings, we can select DC charge to either 100% or 90% and select AC charge to 90% or 100%. That's totally up to you. So if for some people who re, who don't want DC charge to charge to 100%, you can just set on 70%, plug into the wall socket, and they will charge to 70%, just like that. Otherwise, 100%, I guess, is what everyone's okay with, but you can set it up if you like. You can also set your charge uh, current as well. So it depends on what charging uh, unit or what AC charging unit you have at your home, you can charge it maximum, reduced or minimum. So that will, um, that obviously minimum will lead to a longer, longer uh, sort of range charging time. But honestly, maximum it would be okay. You're just gonna charge the vehicle at maximum limits basically, as long as you have no issue with it. Next, we have the winter mode. So in winter mode, what that means is the vehicle is not engaged in winter mode, so in, if, if you're in a sort of low temperature area, the vehicle's um, battery will drop its sort of a performance to keep up with efficiency. In case you don't want that to, to happen, just click winter mode, and that means your your performance, the vehicle driving ability, is going to be quite standard compared to a whole day, but your range will slightly drop. So personally, I don't think I'm going to engage that in New Zealand. Um, but if you're in South, Island, uh, South Island or in a cold weather, you may want to have the performance of the DC vehicle, then you have to engage that. Otherwise, in normal standard situation, you don't have to engage that just yet. Last one is utility mode. So at the moment, it's not activated. 
but that you can use this when you are in let's say a camping ground or you're you're by the beach you're uh, you're sitting there all the things um, what that means is you can switch this on so what that means uh, let's say it's activating utility mode so you're gonna charge your device in the car or you're gonna use the music you're gonna use the uh, what do you call it the um, the temperature or anything like that but the vehicle stays stationary so it stops using the 12 volt battery just in case your 12 volt battery battery goes flat um, that's but the, the the using the main high voltage battery instead so that's how this works um, but yeah that's that's um, but to deactivate the utility mode you just press the start button uh, foot on brake then the vehicle will start now the utility mode will be disengaged just like that all right so just like that after that we also get a couple more in the setting menu so let's click the setting menu again in the home screen find your setting menu go to the vehicles and up here we have an EQ eco vehicle so in the eco vehicle first one is the smart um, regeneration basically the maximum deceleration or strong deceleration depends on how you like it what that means is when you drive the vehicle you can use your pedals to adjust your so the regeneration program for the braking and this is obviously plus this is minus um sorry, sorry this is minus and this is plus uh, what that means is it's going lower or higher you get from level zero to all the way to level four and if you push and hold this one of the buttons you're able to change that to auto instead of level one or level two when it's on automatic it will change to your medium or soft acceleration the de deacceleration um so basically change your sort of throttle regeneration uh, or brake regeneration whatever you want to call it just like that you can change it whenever you like medium is what i prefer next one we get charging connector locking mode how that works is when you connect your charging whether it's dc or ac charging uh, your vehicle will lock the charging obviously so if you press always lock that means as soon as you plug it in no matter if there's charging rate going through there or not and that will be locked itself so no one can pull it out so it's a little bit secure when you go into a um when you park your car on the driveway charging sort of thing so no one steal your cable uh, it also works with lock well charging so only when that is connected it's locked that means if it's not connected if it's not disconnected and uh, someone can easily pull it out basically so um yeah it may this probably works at a public charging station just in case you, you forget to, to unlock the vehicle forget to unlock the vehicle or forget to uh, to, to to basically change your parking all that things but if you're already fully charged the vehicle disengaged so someone can grab your cable and they can charge their vehicle instead so that's lock well charging oh i'm sorry uh one thing I forgot to mention is in maybe some models or in maybe some other part of the world you're able to just like not even locking at all it's not recommended it's just not safe someone can steal a cable anytime when when even when the vehicle is charging so it's not recommended but it's not available on this new zealand version um, again someone else will have it in other part of the world uh, last one is your audible charging information so what that means is once your charging is connected once they are is secured the vehicle inside the vehicle it's going to give you a warning sound either high or low or medium so up to you you can you will hear the sound inside the car and you'll hear the sound outside the car as well uh, depends on where you are um, but anyway when you charge the vehicle it's going to show a display over here to see your current and all that things you can even open the doors everything so this just give you warning you can also switch it off if you don't need it so medium will be okay with me um so yeah that's about the charging last one is this button underneath so a lot of time people don't know what this is about so we're going to the menu it basically gives you a brief description so when you have the scheduled charging like what we just did for the departure time when you plug it in obviously the vehicle will not right now charging but wait until it's close to your departure time whether it's 80 percent or eight hours whatever and then it will start charging but if you do wish to start charging right away you can press and hold this button for two seconds i think and then the vehicle will start your schedule charging just like that um yeah it's just how to use the button yeah so yeah i think that's pretty much all we have for the charging uh, of this kia ev6 i hope this is helpful and uh, if you do have any questions uh, please leave a comment down below and if you are interested in purchasing one of the EV6 from us, uh, we are in New Zealand, um, in Auckland specifically.
name is Jerry, and uh, you can contact us at Abit Pukui. We are the Kia, Nissan, MG, and Volkswagen dealership. And uh, I'll leave my contact details down below as well. I will see you next video. And please help me to subscribe and uh, like the video if you enjoy this content.